Um, I literally just have foundation on my chin to disguise how bad my chin looks right now. My skin overall is just trash. I'm sad about it, but we're just gonna stop talking about it in three, two, one, Ooh. ignore. Thank you. That was my energy <clears throat> resource. I had a pretty traumatic night. I'm not kidding. I was like, well, at least I can do the fun thing called sleeping. But no, I was like, I have to film a video. And no, don't get me wrong. I love filming videos. So this like honestly isn't that big of a deal. But I was just like, oh my gosh, I still have to film a video. It's like stress, but it's fine because I love doing that. So. <laughs> Yay, hi everybody, it is me, Aaliyah, and welcome back to my channel. Yay, 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 yay. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have not been able to do my makeup for the past couple of days because my skin has been absolute trash, like I said, literally less than a minute ago. You're like, Aaliyah, like, what the flip can you even do with your channel if you can't even do your freaking makeup? Like, why am I even here? Why am I even watching? What is your purpose? Good freaking question, Samantha. I don't know what my purpose is. Ugh. Gosh, that's why I pray every night to Jesus. Still waiting for an answer. Today, probably. So we've been doing this whole YouTube subscriber interaction thing for a while now. And I was like, okay, well, I don't have any ideas. And I was just sitting around today and I was like, oh, what if I see how well you guys know me? I was like, well, that's like cool, but there should like be some twist to it because it, wouldn't it be kind of boring if you just were like, if I was just like, oh, do you guys know this about me? You don't? Oh no, too bad. <laughs> so for any time you guys get the answer incorrect, I will have to share something embarrassing or weird about myself. <coughs> Whether it be disgusting or gross or quirky, you know? So. Yeah, let's get started. So basically I put up polls on my Instagram and I asked a question and then gave you two options and then you all voted for which one you thought was the answer and then obviously I'll tell you which one was right, which one was wrong and I'll explain it and then if you guys got it wrong I will say something embarrassing about myself and expose myself. Okay, bye. I mean, no, not bye. Okay, let's get started. Sorry I'm being disgusting. Question number one. I said, how long have I been doing makeup? And your two options were number one, two and a half years, and number two, four years. Wait, this is the wrong. I made my sister write the answers down on a piece of paper. She wrote this wrong. It's supposed to be YouTube. Okay, let me start over. How long have I been doing YouTube? The answers are either two and a half years or four years. The answer is two and a half years. So let's see what you guys said. Congratulations to me. I don't have to expose myself because 89% of you said two and a half years, which is right. And 11% of you said four years, which wrong answer you suck. Also say hi to Michael Jackson. He's right there. Actually, that's not a good time to say hi to Michael Jackson. Um, Just say hi to me. Question number two. How do I like my coffee? <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Either iced or hot. Um, the correct answer is ice. This is definitely cold. It actually doesn't have it actually doesn't have any ice in it, but it's cold. Seventy six percent of you said ice, and twenty four percent of you said hot. So I don't know what you guys are doing because that's kind of like a lot of people that said hot, and I'm disappointed. Also, I'm kind of sick still, and my voice is like disappearing, and the coffee's not gonna help. So I don't care about myself clearly. I really don't. <laughs> Like my skin is really so bad. Like it's dry, patchy everywhere. This never happens before. Question number three. What is my least favorite season? Okay, Kiara just FaceTime me and now I like am almost about to have a mental breakdown. Um <clears throat> and now I'm really jittery from the coffee because it's literally almost gone. Like I drink I haven't drank this much coffee in a minute because I've been sick, so like I wasn't drinking coffee, but like now I am, so like I'm like <laughs> Least favorite season. Okay, the choices were spring and summer. Um, I feel really strongly about this. And if you don't know, you don't pay attention because I'm pretty sure I've said it before. The answer is spring. Spring is the most awful season ever. It makes me so uncomfortable. I don't have any reason why. I just, I'm so distracted by my skin. Please ignore it. I hate spring. It's not cute. 
it's weird. It's a weird in-between stage of life, I feel like. Pollen and nasty and bees are coming alive, which I mean, I'm all for save the bees, but like they scare me. Bugs just come back out and I'm, no. 53% of you said spring, so you actually got it right. Um, you guys are doing great so far. I haven't had to embarrass myself yet. You guys are great. Number four, how many pets have I had? These are all the pets that I have had because um, my sister's had a bunch of fish and I wasn't including those and she's also had a parrot, so not including that. I counted our doggy fudge when we were little, my three hamsters, my parrot, or my bird, and then Bella, my cat now, so six. I either said six or four, so let's see what you all said. Oh my gosh, you guys know me well, wait, oh wait. This is actually wrong. Oh my God, no, not two. Oh my gosh. 72% of you said four and 28% of you said six. So now I have to embarrass myself. This is what happens when you don't know me, you make me embarrass myself. Thanks. Whenever I, sometimes I eat my food on the floor because I think the floor is the most comfortable place on earth, honestly. But if I'm eating on the floor and if I have a plate of food on the floor, you are not allowed, like I don't know why you would, but like I just have this, um thought in my head this theory that if you were to walk over my food that foot dust would sprinkle into my food and I would no longer be able to eat it. I hate feet and the thought of your foot dust sprinkling into my food makes me actually want to throw up and gag. So there's that. Question number five. Um, how long have I loved makeup? I either said for three years or since I was a little bitty little bitty Wow, you guys don't know me at freaking all. 25% of you said three years and 75% of you said since I was a whittle. Um, no, I've hated makeup actually. And I didn't start liking makeup until like 2016, like seriously. So sometimes when I use the bathroom, I actually don't wash my hands. And I'm not proud to say it, but it's true. And if you want to judge me, you probably do it too. So shut up. Thank you. Question number six, which am I more passionate about, singing or dancing? If any of you did not know, I have danced for 12 years of my life, love dance, and I also love singing, but the correct sing the correct, but the correct answer is singing because I think I'm better at singing than dancing. I think I'm an okay dancer. I think I'm better at choreographing than dancing. Really? Okay, 50% said dance and 50% said singing. Are you serious? I'm gonna take that as wrong okay this is just an embarrassing story one time i was at a restaurant with my family um, it was like at one of the japanese um hibachi restaurants where they cook like right in front of your face the guy was cooking his cooking the food and stuff and i was sitting with my sister and i happened to take a little toot toot out of my butthole and i was like <laughs> and i i don't know why but my first instinct was to say <gasps> that was my mouth like i don't there's no good reason why that would be the correct thing to say, but I said it. Moving on before I cry. The next question, number seven. If you didn't know, I do not go to college. I'm not stupid. Just kidding, you're not stupid if you go to college and you probably have like a normal career path that you wanna take, which is really good for you because it means your life is probably way easier than mine. Um, I look too ugly to be seen right now. I didn't actually tell you what the question is. The question was, if I was in college, which major would be my major bye the options were either psycholo psychological this is why i'm not in college psychology or business both are something i'm interested in but i would definitely go to school for psychology over business because i believe that you can definitely learn business outside of college because business is like a real life thing so like you could just make your own business and like learn from that instead of paying a lot of money for it mm, great i don't have to embarrass myself 65% of you said psychology and 35% of you said business. So you guys know me, I guess. I guess you guys don't um, think of me as much of a businesswoman. So are you sexist? I don't, what are you trying to say? Just kidding, I don't care. <laughs> Am I okay? No, yeah, yes. Okay, number eight, what is my go-to outfit? And I'm, I'm talking about like if I'm going out like for, with friends and stuff, like friends. So the options were either extra like cute fit i don't care what the weather is if it's too cold i'm still gonna wear that short dress or if it's too hot i'm still gonna wear that cute turtleneck mock neck shit <laughs> or 
comfy, low key, like just a chill outfit. I'm gonna be offended if you guys say chill because I like to be a little bit extra because that's just me. 20% of you said extra and 80% of you said low key. Is that what I am to you guys? Low key and comfy? I need to do better then. I clearly haven't proved myself to be extra. I feel offended and I'm coming for all of you. So check yourself before you go to bed. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't know where you live and I don't really wanna know where you live and I really don't wanna see you because I don't like to talk to people because my life is so annoying and terrible that when I see people and they ask me how my life is, I have to like lie and like cover up. So I like don't even like to interact with people in the first place because then it makes the situation too hard when I have to explain my life and they don't wanna hear what my life is because it's just so sad and theirs isn't. So they're like, oh, that's that sucks. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Please don't hate me, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I have conversations with my cat. Is that embarrassing? I literally meow with her and yeah, we're almost done. I only asked you 10 questions because I thought after 10 you'd probably be tired of me. You probably already are tired of me, so sorry. Oh, this one is the saddest question of them all. If you don't know the answer to this, I don't wanna say you're stupid, but you just don't pay attention. And it's really obvious. I don't even know why I asked this question because it's pretty dang obvious. Which food do I prefer? Pizza or fries. These are my two favorite things ever. If you catch me anywhere in this world, I'll either want pizza or fries or also chicken tenders, but pizza or fries are on the top of that list. If I ever get chicken tender meal, I'm, e I, I'm eating that meal for fries with a side of chicken tenders, not chicken tenders with a side of fries. Like I would choose pizza over fries, I think. Um, good job. 71% of you said pizza and 29% of you said fries. Thank you for being smart. The last, ultimate, final, amazing question, most important one. If you don't know this, we gotta fight. We gotta fight. I feel like it's probably obvious because it's like, hello? Like, this is an obvious question. Like, if you don't feel the same about this question, something's wrong with you and you need to get actually educated. So, the last question is, which Demi Lovato album is my all-time favorite Ooh. album ever to exist? Do you know? I know. Tell Me You Love Me, which is the most recent album. Love it, whatever. Or Get Back, the first, the OG, the original, amazing banger. Every single song, banger, pop, banger, beat, ever. Ever. That's my favorite. Get Back is my favorite album. I don't care how old, I'm gonna be 72 years old listening to that song, showing my great grandkids. I'm gonna be like, listen, Listen to how she sang that note and get back. Listen to train wreck. Listen to until you're mine. Listen to party. Listen to gonna get caught on the line. Oh, sweetie, don't even. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. 64% of you said get back. And 36% of you said tell me you love me. I don't know where you got that from because that ain't it at all. I mean, that's a great album, but the first one's where it's at. And if you never heard of Get Back, I suggest you go listen to it. I don't care for some 2008. Educate yourself, okay? And on that note, we're done with this video. Um, I'm sorry this is probably stupid and you probably hate me, And but I just hope you don't unsubscribe because I promise my channel will get better. I'm gonna try to do my makeup as soon as possible. I'm really trying here. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video somehow, you guys should definitely give it a big ol' thumbs up. You can even thumbs it down if you hated it. Like, I understand. Like, as long as you just tell me how you feel, that's all I can ask for. Um, comment down below. What are, um, did you guess any of these answers? Did you get any of them right? Um, did you get any wrong? Do you even know who I am? Subscribe and smash that bell button so you don't hit any time that I post, okay? And also, guys, we are almost out of time to submit testimonials for my Sephora squad application. So if you haven't done that yet, please click the link in my description. I will also link the video where I describe what the frick that is in the first place. It is basically an opportunity for Sephora um, from Sephora where they are inviting other influencers to work with them and basically network with other brands and influencers and get to like do all these crazy cool things and kind of launch our careers in makeup and beauty so it's a really awesome opportunity and it helps me out a lot to be accepted in the Sephora squad if you guys send testimonials about why you like my makeup and why you follow me and all that stuff so link will be in the description okay thank you guys so very much please subscribe um your love and your support means everything to me 
We're gonna make dreams come true. I know it. This year is gonna be a great year, and we just have to keep going, keep pushing. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. I love you. I will see you next time. Bye. <coughs>